Hey babe, it's your girl's Bay, and I'm back with another video. It's been a minute. I'm so sorry y'all like Life is getting in the way and I'm tired, but I do have a makeup video for y'all today I'm gonna be trying on 16 shades of lipsticks So y'all better like this video because my lips are going to hurt like crazy But anyways, um before I get into the video make sure you like comment subscribe to my YouTube channel Follow me on all my social media platforms that say bae bae join the bae family We love treats over here. We love to turn up. So just come join us So anyway Shein has their own like makeup brand called She Glam and um, they sent me I think all the shades like I think I have 16 shades of their um, She Glam Dynamite Boom Lasting Matte Lipstick um, so it comes about I think 16 shades it retails for $8.99 Canadian so today I'm going to try it out for you guys Apparently, um, this is why a little bit tips about this lipstick. It's cruelty free, transfer proof, highly pigmented, and I guess the packaging is like made of recycling items. And it says, "Time to kiss your old matte lippies goodbye." Our new high coverage matte lipstick gives you the perfect matte pout all day, no matter the occasion. So that's what it says. And I have all these shades here with me. And, ooh, I'm about to like try them on. So this is the packaging. How it looks like it's actually really pretty packaging. My nails actually kind of match it. I like it. And this is the lipstick. It's like a nice, like one of those skinny tube lipsticks, like right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try each and every one of them on my lips. I'm not gonna put no liner on it, no gloss, no nothing. Y'all just gonna see how it looks like as is. So pray for my lips. Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I was kind of skeptical about trying uh Sheen products. I'm just like, ah, uh, what if I get an allergic reaction? So if I get a big fat lip, I bl I'm blaming y'all. But anyways, so we're gonna see <laughs> if this works out and if I get a, a allergic reaction. So let's get into trying out these lipsticks. The first shade I'm trying on is called Encore Energy. Okay, so Encore Energy is supposed to be. A soft peachy nude color with a matte finish so let's see okay they smell really good it's okay oh it smells good and it actually feels it's actually creamy that's wild that's wild this with the right lip liner will be will, ooh okay it's actually really creamy and it smells so good oh my god Encore Energy is fire. This is how it looks like, y'all. What do you think? Mmm. This with a lip liner with some gloss, too. But it's really soft. It's actually soft. Like, that's wild. That's wild. Okay, I'm gonna try the next one on. So, next we have uh, Dare to Be. And it is a warm, medium, dark plum color. And I like this color, too. I think this color is really pretty. It's nice. It's like you know when you see like lighter, lighter um skin women um wear like nice like plummy like colors on the lips and it gives them that like like that nice. I don't know. I can't explain it. I think this is equivalent for us like brown girls. You know, it gives me that kind of like look that they have, and I like it. And I like it without a lip liner too. It's really pretty. And it's actually very soft. I'm um the product. I'm not gonna lie. It does feel a little bit drying on my lips. Maybe because I've been wiping my lips like crazy with the wipes. Um, but it feels really good when you put on. But after a while, it is matte. So it does feel a little bit drying. So I feel like um, putting like, a lip balm before or even after it, just a little bit, I think it's going to help. But I think it's a really pretty color other than, um, other than that. Um, this is Dare to Be. So this color is Plot Twist. And it is a muted orange coral. And she's pretty. With a lip liner, be cute. I like it. It's not bad. Not bad. I actually like, I'm not an orange person, but I actually like the orange on me because it's not a really like in your face orange. It's a really like subtle orange, like I said, muted orange. And like, this, this is cute. This is cute. With the right lip liner, I think it'll definitely be a look, but it's not bad. And my lips aren't tingling yet, so no allergic reaction. So, so far, we are doing great. We are do we're doing great, y'all. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Next up, we have Have No Fear, and this is a beautiful, cool brown nude. And this is this is actually a nice color. It's actually a nice color. 
you know, it's pretty. Once again, with lip liner, it'd be perfect, but I'm not mad at it. Okay, Shein. Okay, she glam, because I'm feeling hella glam in this. This is cute. This is actually a really nice color. I actually really like this. Have No Fear is definitely bomb. She cute. This is this is cute. This, this is definitely a cute color. Okay, next one. I am trying on Big Mood, and Big Mood is a deep chocolate color. And I don't know, y'all. I, I haven't really been in like into like dark lips a lot. Like I just feel like I look uh, in it, but it's like I'm not gonna lie to you, it's like the perfect like brown. It's actually it's actually nice. Like it's even without lip liner, like this is actually like the perfect brown for my skin tone. Like it's not too dark. It's like the bright shade. Okay, okay, so far, so far I'm liking everything. We still have a lot more to go. Like y'all, the way my lips are hurting, like, mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's go, let's move on to the next one. Period, and this is a bold, deep pink. Um, On me, it's not bad, it's definitely giving me Barbie, especially with like the blonde like hair I have in, um, the blonde highlighted brown hair I have, but like it's, it's cute, but um, with a lip liner, I feel like I may like this better. Um, I'm not much of like a bright pink girl. Like, even though it's a deep pink on me, it's definitely giving me bright. It's not bad. It's just like, I don't think I may like it better with a lip liner. She's cute, but I, I don't know. I just don't like bright pink on me. But what do y'all think? Period? Is it giving period or is it getting period not? Let me know. One thing I note about this like lipstick is like it goes on really, really creamy. But once it like sets, like you really do feel the matte. I just wish I had that like nice creamy feel even after like the lip set um, before it gets like really matte. But right now I'm trying on It Takes Guts. It's a true red and I, it's pretty. It is definitely like a really nice like blue, cool tone blue red. Um, it's nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's nice. It's, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, it's pretty. What do y'all think about this one? It's not bad. It's cute. She's cute. This is a really good, like, red color. Next, we have a bold plaid, and this is a deep berry pink. And I don't hate it, you know? This is, like, it's not bad. Like I said, I, I'm not a bright lip person. This looks bright. I don't really like pinky pinks, but something about this gives me, like, bougie like grown sexy i don't know some some about this gives me like like bougie i don't know it's giving me like a bougie vibe like i feel like you know i can be like i don't know driving in my Rolls rolls royce <laughs> with this lippy on with the blonde hair i don't know it's giving me that kind of vibe but it's pretty it's pretty a bold plan it's definitely bold it's definitely bold it's so crazy how you see it on the on the lighter models and how you see it on these two different very colors Two different very colors. That's why I'm doing it for y'all so y'all can see how they look like on. This color is Don't Hesitate and it is a mid-tone muted nude plum. I don't know. I don't like it on me. I don't like it on me. I think maybe with like the right lip liner, but I just, I don't know. I just don't, I don't something about it is just not agreeing with my like skin tone. It just looks weird to me. It just looks, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. I don't like it. It's giving me like a very like, Gray color. I don't know. I'm not feeling this color at all. I'm just I'm trying to like look at myself in the mirror. I'm just like, honestly, no. It's just, it's just not it. It's just not for me. This color is called High Key. I couldn't find it on the website, so I don't know what kind of color is that this is or anything. Like, I'm not sure how to explain this undertone. I'm really bad at explaining like color undertones and stuff like that, y'all. Um, it's pretty though. It's not a bad color. I just don't know why it's not available. But if you fall in love with this one, I'm so sorry. I can't find it from where I'm looking. But maybe it's like hidden somewhere. I just can't see it. But this is high key. And high key is pretty. It is definitely a really pretty color with the right lip liner. And I feel like a nice like lighter color in the middle. It would be bomb. It would be bomb. This next color is Take Action. It, and it is a muted berry pink. I hate this color. I just feel like... I just feel like I'll blow up, doll. I don't know. I don't like this lip color. I don't think it's 
nice. I almost dropped the lipstick because it pissed me off. I don't like this color at all. I just think, no, maybe with a lip, maybe the lip liner would be cute. I don't know. I just don't like this. It's not really giving me, yeah, no, it's a no, it's a no. Next we have Stronger Than Ever, which is a true blue red. Compared to the first red, I said the first one was more of a true blue red. I don't know why I said that. This is definitely more of a blue red. Um, honestly, I actually like it. Maybe because the hair is also giving it, you know, but it's actually pretty. It's actually really nice. I just wish it felt a little bit more comfortable on my lips, but it's pretty. It's definitely a pretty color. It's a really nice red color, especially like how it goes with like my like blondish hair. It's a vibe. It's a, it's a vibe. I don't know. I like. I just like. I don't know. Just something about it looks like slightly darker on my lips. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like my lips, but my lips look so juicy in this. I like. I like this one. This is a good one. Next, we have main character, and this is a bright orange red. It's definitely bright. And you know what? Like, for some reason, on my camera, it looks like really bright than it actually it is. Like, it's not that bright, you know? Um, in person, it's a little bit more deeper on me. Um, but it's nice. It's not a bad color. kind of almost like matches like my shirt color. But it's not bad. It's pretty. I think this would be a really good like color for like the summer times. It's definitely like a summer color. And I think I would wear this when I have like my braids. I feel it'd be really pretty like braids or like faux locks. I feel like that's the vibe it's giving me. But yeah, it's definitely giving me main character energy. It's bright and it's, it's it's definitely a statement. Next we have Gotcha and it is a a warm peachy nude. Is these are one of those like colors that you really have to like Finesse, like a nice deep like lip liner and then like a lighter color gloss in the middle. Like this is something you really have to, like finesse to make it look really really nice. Cause without it, I look crazy. I look I look crazy. But like I said, these are one the ones that can be like a game changer, like one of your favorite ones. But you're gonna have to find like the right um combo to wear with this lipstick to make it look like wearable. It's cute, it's not bad, but like if you want it to look wearable, like you definitely gonna have to use a lip liner with this and like a gloss to really just like, change it up. But Gotcha's not bad. It's not a bad color, but it's definitely it's, it definitely needs a lot of work. My lips, my lips are getting are, are starting to hurt. It's starting to feel mad dry. But this is born to stand out. For some reason, I couldn't find it on their website. I'm not sure if they named it something different. It kind of looks like risky to me, and risky is to be described as a let me figure out a deep plum so it's kind of give me like risky vibes um but it's really pretty though it's nice it's definitely giving me very much fall this is like a fall winter shade i would totally wear it's really pretty um but my lips feel really dry to the point like it's not even like holding on to my lips anymore because like i've been like oh my lips hurt 16 shades y'all I have one more shade left and then that's it we done so let's put on the last color so this is the last one and this is rule breaker it's actually the top seller like the favorite one um out of all the lipsticks and it's described to be a soft cool toned pink nude without the lip liner I look friggin crazy I look like I look I look like a hot I look wild I definitely with the right like I feel like a brown lip liner and a nice like brownie like like nude like a light and bright brownie nude color putting on I feel like it, it, it could be finesse it could be finesse you know um I feel like on the lighter models it looks really nice on them um, because it's more deeper on them but for me if your my complexion are darker it's gonna look like bright as hell so this is something we definitely need a lip liner to really finesse it all that kind of stuff but anyways y'all that's the end of my she glam what's it called again dynamite dynamat oh my god hold on it's called dynamite it's dynamat wow boom long lasting matte lipstick i tried 16 shades my lips hate me right now about to go do a lip mask and like put some like lip treatment on it because my lips friggin hurt right now but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on all my social media platforms that say baby and yeah let me know which color is your favorite y'all and i'll see you guys again in another video bye